What's up YouTube, it's Louis here. I hope you're all well. Today we're looking at HBAR on the daily time frame. I just want to say thank you for helping us almost hit 1,000 views on the last HBAR update. We almost hit 100 likes. Let's strive for 100 likes on every single HBAR update. I do appreciate all the continued support, but please would appreciate if you could also subscribe as over 50% of you watching weren't subscribed. And we've got a goal for 5,000 subscribers as soon as we can. Now, HBAR decided that it wants to come and test this low. Remember, in the video, we were saying at all costs, we can't lose 5.7 cents. Essentially, we can't see a daily candle close below this as we did here. We got lucky over here that it reclaimed it. The reason it reclaimed it is because we saw Bitcoin reclaimed it. If you're here and you're new to the channel, I urge you all to check out my Bitcoin videos as that's the most important crypto. I'm not personally in Bitcoin, but that's, in my opinion, the most important crypto that you should be watching. As if Bitcoin is technically bullish. And now that doesn't mean flying in the air because Bitcoin hasn't been flying, but it's holding above a level that it should have lost. Just like HBAR, it should have lost this low and it never did. So even though you did, you reclaimed it, you came back and you reclaimed it. So you should have technically lost this and you didn't over here. So that's why we don't want to lose that. And so as long as we're above this point, we are bullish. And that's the same for Bitcoin. And that's why we're seeing uh, as long as Bitcoin's above this level of 18.6K, we're going to see alts acting bullish because if Bitcoin technically is by holding that level, as that was the level, it should have continued lower. Same with HBAR. We, over here, we rejected the 20 EMA. This is a massive sell signal. Usually, if you go on any time frame, or if we just go up here in the charts, when you hit this, you continue your downtrend, okay? So you should see these lows lost, these bar, uh, the body candle closes. And so over here, once we retested it as resistance, we should see a lower low below this, which we, in fact, we did not get. We went lower with the wick, but not with the body candle closes, and that's what we need to see. So the, the bear trend, I'd basically stop there. And so going forward, if you want to see a bullish trend, you need to hold this. Bitcoin's doing so, and that's why you've got coins like Quant and XRP and Matic and Binance. And there's many more I just can't remember off the top of my head that have been pumping since the bottom because Bitcoin was technically above that level and so is creating higher lows, which is bullish structure and not bearish structure. Over here, you should have a lower low, we have a higher low. And so if we continue to hold this higher low, then of course, then that's another higher low we've got. And if you're not breaking below this, if you're coming back to the same location for a second time and you're not closing below that, that's twice you've come into an area of support or an area of demand. You have come into this support not once and failed to break it, but twice and failed to break it so far. And so that would potentially be a double bottom. And these are some patterns that we've seen already break out on some cryptos, but there are some laggards like HBAR, like VeChain, like Quant. Go check out all those, sorry, not Quant, like Bitcoin, my mistake. Quant is one of the leaders. Now, if we're now zooming into this area and we're taking a closer look, at this in the last lesson of course we said we can't lose this level as well as this wick now that we formed it because this is rejecting uh, these two major key levels of support the 20 EMA and the 55 you can see if I get rid of all these drawings this wick is signifying that at this point do at some point sorry during this day as this is the daily time frame price was down here at 5.8 cent it opened at 6.5 and it was at 5.8 before closing back at 6.5. So you literally, um, yeah, reverse everything that happened, confirming these as supports you were below them, meaning that they are resistance. If we had closed below both of these, the move above meant that it was a fake out. So you don't want to go up, you want to go down. Essentially what happened here, which I was able to tell you, uh, tell you guys about. So if this had closed down here, it would be the same as this where after you close back under the 55 and the 20, you did actually put in a lower low, lower than that. So the same thing should happen here. So we've initially pumped from here and we've created this new low. If we ever do lose this, as we have again now, we've closed below the 55 and the 20. It's a signal that you should really lose that lowest point down here. That is what it should actually do. But we don't know if that's what is going to happen. Although we're in a bear market, we should be going down in a downtrend. How come all these bearish scenarios are not playing out as they should? Because something unexpected is happening. 
maybe we are actually not bearish anymore. Maybe we're in the sideways market. As I said, when the bottom is eventually in for Bitcoin, expect a sideways market for up to six months. So this is exactly what we've been seeing since that June low uh, at 17K for Bitcoin. We bottomed out there. And since then, we've just been going sideways. We're seeing that across other cryptos as well. Many months in this accumulation. So that's why the title of the last video was this uh, accumulation period for HBAR. But we're seeing it across everywhere. And to keep this going, again, we need to close above 5.7 cent, which we are. But that is where we're trying to head to right now. And all the signs are showing is that we're now, this is another attempt of trying to lose this low. We've attempted to break out bullish. We did actually meet a bullish target out of this double bottom and we were above these bearish EMAs, meaning we should actually continue up to around eight cent, correct? The only thing stopping us was after we met this target, we ran into this key golden pocket, which I was able to warn you guys about. Now we are trapped between this green box and this gold box. And a decision in these coming days will be made. Make sure to check out my Bitcoin update, which goes specifically into why it's in these coming days slash two weeks where we will see a significant breakout uh, for crypto, a big move in either direction. We have prepared for the downside. We've got a wick that we need to fill. If we were to lose this low over here, 5.7 cent, that's when we're going to come and fill in this wick at four and a half cent. But not only that, you do have a technical target uh, over here out of this head and shoulders, shoulders pattern I was able to warn you guys about. If it were to break out, it would validate. So your neckline is 5.7 cent. So all these bad scenarios where we have these targets to the downside is once you lose that wick. So if you're not losing that wick, the bad scenario should essentially not happen. Do you understand that? And so if we are above this, you should expect the opposite for us to range sideways as we've been doing for months, but also to eventually break out bullish. OK, you might get a fundamental news event or a technical pattern that will send you lower. But this is going to be something that's out. Uh, yeah, well, if it's a fundamental side, it's going to be out of the blue or if it. Yeah, we just need to wait for patterns. The patterns that we have been talking about, again, the head and shoulders. So it wouldn't be a surprise if we were to go down to there as we've seen a technical ta technical target to that. It's not a fundamental news event. A fundamental news event is not gonna give us targets to the upside or targets to the downside. It will tell you this is an event that will affect the market. It has high impact on the market, but it's not telling you, okay, now this has made dollar more powerful. Uh, H bar should go down to this price. It's not gonna tell you the price. What will tell you the price is the te technical analysis. And that's this shoulder, head and shoulder down to in and around four cents okay not only that we've been talking about on the bitcoin chart about this larger descending triangle and so of course because it's larger than that head and shoulders the target would be even lower at a price target of around three cents okay these of course are the worst case scenarios this is of course not going to happen whatsoever if you're not closing below that green line over here that green wick 5.7 cent that is not going to happen whatsoever any of these bearish things but i have to prepare you guys and warn you about it what is happening is of course we're accumulating and so we need to see a break above this gold box as you would be above the emas which they would flip bullish on the daily time frame confirming a daily bullish cross a, a, a bull trend that should last some weeks to a couple months potentially before correction so It'd be nice to, of course, get above this as well. By the time you're above this, you would have formed that bullish cross over here. You want to fall back to it and then continue up. You can see a much larger double bottom forming. There's also a larger inverse head and shoulders here, which is the same as the double bottom. It's, it's a bullish pattern, essentially. But more info on that as the days and weeks go by. I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. Please help get this uh, video to 100 likes and to help the channel get to 5K as fast as we can. Share this video out to your mates and whatnot and go follow my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. Thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.